everybody wave and give it up to Greg and Ashley Sheldon, our ring walker today. In the meantime, way out there now, the Philip 66 Aero Stars. In the lead, we have pilot Harvey Boss Meek with Paul Rocket Hornick on the left wing and Dave Cupid Monroe on the right wing. While in the Vic formation, notice the wings overlapping by four feet. While the Vic formation dates all the way back to World War I, in this instance, Vic stands for victory, as in Philip 66, Victory Aviation Oil. The Act-52s themselves are filled with AV the Philip 66 aviation fuel, and their engines are protected by Philip 66 Cross Country Motor from Scott New York. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause? For Greg Shelton at the controls and Ashley Shelton, the wing walker. These yaks were chosen by the pilot for a very specific reason. They were produced by Aerostar, a Romanian aircraft manufacturer, and provide an exceptional aerobatic platform due to their agility and stability, as well as their power and inverted flight characteristics. Even though they look and sound like planes from early in the 20th century, the Yak-52s were brand new aircraft when the team first acquired them a little over 10 years ago. I just love the sound of that Russian radial engine. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, it turns the opposite direction of American engines. From your left to right, the team will now perform one of the most difficult maneuvers in formation aerobatics, the barrel roll. This maneuver is so difficult because team lead Harvey Meek is constantly changing his aircraft in all three dimensions. Simultaneously, Carl and Dave have to adjust their roll rates to match the barrel shape perfectly, all while flying within a few feet of the lead aircraft. The team is definitely warmed up after this one. And what makes it even more challenging today are the wind conditions. Look at the trees out there. They're swinging and swaying pretty good. Here comes another loop, but this time the team won't use the VIC formation. Instead, the three Yak-52s will actually fly right next to each other. That means there are even fewer visual clues for the pilots. We call this line abreast, and keeping that line takes years of formation practice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Phillips 66 Aero Stars, the line abreast loop. We're going to pull right there. Next up, it's one of those maneuvers where you want to hold your breath. The breakaway cross. Or as the team likes to call it, the breakaway cross country in honor of the Philip 66 cross country aviation oil coursing through the veins of their Yak 52's engines. It all begins with a half loop with a quarter roll on the down line. The team makes a crossing break followed by a head on near miss pass between number two and number three. Keep your eyes on Paul and Dave, ladies and gentlemen, as they go right past each other. Don't come back next year. Here we go with the dive. You got those cameras and camcorders rolling? I sure hope you do. Here they come, from the left, the Phillips 66 Aerostars, the breakaway cross. break. 
after the last near miss maneuver, the team now rejoins for one of the 456 Aerostar signature moves. It's the flip and the flop. Watch lead in number two as they roll together on close trail formation. It's definitely difficult to photograph all the aircraft in one shot when you've got two going off to the left and another going off to the right. Here they come. It's interesting to listen to the calls on the radio. Team lead Harvey Boss Meek is calling their maneuvers, and the wingman Paul Rocket Hornick and Dave Cupid Monroe follow along. This is a lot of work going on up here. The idea is that the boss keeps the formation on altitude and heading, and everybody else flies along with it. They have specific spotting points on the aircraft that they've got to line up with. The next maneuver is dedicated to all the sweethearts in the crowd and is actually how right wing Dave Monroe became known as Cupid. Lead and number two fly a highly coordinated maneuver together and draw a giant heart of smoke in the sky. And then Cupid pierces the heart right through the middle. Here we go, here comes the heart. And ladies and gentlemen, come to the back. Cupid on roll. All right, now it's time for a quick breather for the team. They're gonna rejoin and perform another beautiful loop in tight fit formation before preparing for the final few sequences. In the lead, you've got Harvey Meek, call sign Boss. On the left wing, Paul Hornick, call sign Rocket. Why is he called Rocket? It's very simple, because he likes things high and fast. And on the right wing, we've got Dave Monroe calls sign Cupid. The Phillips 66 Aerostars love a challenge. And they found the one in this next maneuver, which puts a twist to the trust of big formation loop. While entering the loop in line of rest formation, the team lead, RLB Meek, will change the formation pattern to a big while inside the loop. Phillips 66 Aerostars are going to go off into the distance there. They're going to turn around and then they're going to do the line of rest of the group. I jumped the gun a little bit. Hope you all got your sunblock on and you're drinking plenty of fluids today. Hey, we want to remind you, too, we're going to be back here again tomorrow. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell everybody. Get on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Heck, get out there with Morse code and signal flags. Coming in from the left, smoke is on. Here we go with the Phillips 66 Aerostars in the line of rest to Vic Lou. 
This maneuver is incredibly challenging because the wingmen need to react to the new formation while upside down. There's the pole. Watch for the transition. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in from the left, we're going to have Harvey Meek and Dave Cupid Monroe coming back in for the squirrel cage. What's the squirrel cage? They're going to do a squirrel cage. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go with the squirrel cage. Gonna roll around the sky and create a bladed smoke trail. And heading off to the right here. You aren't gonna believe. You aren't gonna believe. Okay. I believe they've just called for a banana pass. So those of you who've got bananas, feel free to pass them out. No, I'm kidding. They're going to do a photo pass, ladies and gentlemen. So get those cameras and camcorders ready. That is, if you haven't had them going already. They're going to come around here and give you the chance to take some photos of these guys as they come by. The Phillips 66 Aerostars and the photo pass starting right about now. Oh, look at this. Okay, they're doing the Twinkie roll. That's a pretty cool maneuver, isn't it? There's the breakaway. And they're going to roll out of that and they're going to rejoin. that the Phillips 66 Aerostars are going to do a photo pass, and it sure looks like they are. So once again, get those cameras and camcorders ready. There's your photo pass. Oh, that looks so pretty. The team encourages you to finish the team encourages you to visit their Facebook page and share your photos. Just visit Facebook.com Team Aerostars for more information. And finally, the team, th the team thanks Philip 66 for their sponsorship. You can buy some aviation oil along with other aviation lubricants from Philip 66. And for those of you who are using the parking lot instead of the hangar, check out the new shield Philip 66 lubricants full line of automotive motor oil, which, and there they go. Photo pass to a break. And now I believe they're going to recover. 
And in just a moment, you're going to get to see the force. Our process has cleared. Team Arrow Star to land. They will in just a minute. Here we go. The good news is today that the, we have a slight crosswind. We're landing on runway 24. The winds are out of 26, uh, gusting to about 20, I think I heard. We're going to get the uh, Team Mirror Stars back here. They're going to park their airplanes, and in just a moment, the force is going to be cleared for takeoff.